in the golf living room when somebody tells you that you're, you're not good enough for us right now? I'm probably the calmest about it nowadays. <laughs> my mom and my dad will get really fired up about it. Um, I think at the time growing in high school when I really, you know, didn't really know. I was, I was a baseball player, a football player, and played basketball all the way through up until my junior year of high school. And so I wasn't sure if I wanted to play baseball in college or football yet. I knew I would play basketball. I was a six foot two white guy and couldn't really shoot. So. <laughs> I knew I was going to play basketball, but uh, I could play baseball or football in college. I had some um, baseball offers. And when football, when Cal offered, they became the first offer. And that was the full scholarship. And I made the decision to, to play football. But um, like you said, there were a lot of naysayers. And my dad, and it was, I mean, you guys know there's message boards and all that stuff. And, you know, your family likes to read it. I stopped reading it pretty early on. But my parents would still read it. And my grandparents read it. And, and I would hear, you know, they, they'd ask me questions about it. They'd be like, oh, Jerry, we didn't know this. I'm like, that's not true. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that happened at practice? I'm like, no, it didn't happen. But, like, that's on the message board. So I'm sure it'd be okay. So um, they like to get into all that. But I truly stay out of it. So I want to dive into that. Um, I think that the premier athletes have a process that they can deal with adversity with. And you can chunk that information and get through it really fast, whether that's an interception or whether that's not getting an offer or a message board comment. Do you have a process around that? I think, I, I think from when I was at a young age, I've always been somewhat unconscious about it. Like throw an interception or like do something bad and like, literally don't even think about it again. And, and try to treat a touchdown or a good play the same way because I think that's the best way for the quarterback. But I don't know where it came from, probably from some of my, my dad did, uh, raising me in through sports and my parents, but um, always kind of had had that, um, always since high school, that since I can remember where you know something goes bad and I'm able to forget about it really early and let it go. And I, and I also like to think about what we've talked about is the pace, the performance after critical error is what it's called. And, I've kind of carried that with me for a long time as far as if something were to go bad, how bad can it truly get and you can still be good? You know, how, how many interceptions in a row can I throw and still come back and throw a touchdown? And I think that's where you're truly judged. So if you go to Jared's freshman year, uh, I was able to produce a documentary series called The Drive on the Pac-12 Network, so you can check it out now. And what's beautiful about that series is that we follow you from the day you get there through the quarterback battle with names like Austin Hinder, I don't know if you 